Rosa 59 here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make this football coat rack. I'm using a scrap piece of a 2x10. I cut out my football template, took my pencil, and traced all the way around it. orbital sander with 150 grit sandpaper to sand it down nice and smooth and then for all the edges and corners and then I went over the top by hand with 150 grit sandpaper. Then I took my hole punch and just hole punched all the holes where the lace is going to go into. And the drill just kind of left some fuzzies from drilling so I just took 150 grit sandpaper and just sanded them off. For the football areas that are stitched together I am going to be doing the wood burning so you want to use some carbon paper underneath and keep your template attached uh, during the time of drilling the holes. I did not remove it I kept it attached that way it's easier to line up everything. Once you got your carbon paper underneath I just took my pencil and I traced out the areas that I'm going to be wood burning. Now keep in mind uh, what type of football you want to do. A CFL football, they have the white stripes in them. And in an NFL football, they don't. They're just a complete brown ball and that's what I'm going to be doing. And once you've got everything all traced out, you should have something that looks like this. I printed out my logo and just roughly kind of centered where I'd want it to be. Use some painter's tape again to hold it in place and carbon paper and just use your pencil and trace out the entire image. So I went ahead and did most of the wood burning. It did take quite a while uh, to do and it's got this little section here. I just wanted to show you on how I did it. Just used some 400 grit sandpaper and lightly sanded it just to get rid of any marks that were left over from the carbon paper. I realized that when I did the sanding it took some of the wood burning off so I just took the tool and did some more wood burning over the areas that lightened. Then I added uh, Minwax uh, wood finish stain and 221 Ick switch pine. I'm not sure how you pronounce the name but that's the one that I used. I made sure I put one liberal coat on and then let it dry for eight hours. I applied the Verithane in a semi-gloss finish and I applied three coats. For adding the lace, I just bought a multicolor pack at Michael's because it had white and I needed white. And then I just went to Walmart and just picked up some sewing needles that were thick enough to thread it in. And so I tied a knot at one end and threaded it through already. Now I'm ready to do the second one. It is a little bit tricky. You might need some pliers or so to help you. I just simply kind of just pushed it in. And there we go. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to all of the rest of them. For adding the hooks on the back, I just bought these at Home Depot. They hold about 25 pounds. It kind of is overkill. It's just for coats, but rather be safe than sorry, uh, just to make sure it's extra strong. With these ones, they already come with screws, so I just held them in place, pushed them down so that it made a mark. Then I just used my screwdriver just to screw them completely down, and I just roughly eyeballed them on each edge where I would want them to be. For adding the hooks in, I bought these at Home Depot. They came in a pack of 
2. And since the Dallas Cowboys do have a satin uh, finish in their name, I thought this would be a great accent for a team color. I just positioned them where I'd want the hooks to be. I found this was the best design. I screwed these ones in already, and I just used a center punch to punch the hole in, so I found it was easier to drive the screw in. If you are working with a harder wood, I would recommend pre-drilling, that way you don't crack your wood. Thanks for checking out this video. All links are in the description below for this video. Definitely subscribe for more videos just like this. Don't forget to share this video and post your comments below. Some of the best tips and feedback come from you. Thanks for watching.